Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to solve another simple interesting problem that is based on identifying the sandwich pattern. So let's take a look at the problem statement over here. So the problem statement says that you are given a table named num having two columns. The first column is sn which represents the serial number and the second column is num which is nothing but the shorthand for number that represents the numeric value. So that's how your input table looks like having two columns serial number and num. Serial number is nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. And num is nothing but here the numeric value has been assigned to the respective serial number. For example, for the serial number 1, the value assigned is 4. For the serial number 2, the value assigned is 7. For serial number 3, the value assigned is 4 and something like that. Okay. Now, what you have to do is you just need to find all the unique values in num. What is that? You need to find all the unique values in num that form a sandwich pattern. You just need to extract the values of num that follows a sandwich pattern. Now, what a sandwich pattern is? In other words, the same value should appear at rows i and i plus 2. That means it should skip one row and, and then i, i plus 1, i plus 2. So, it should skip i plus 1 and the i plus 2, i plus 2, the values of i and i plus 2. I plus 2 should be same while the row in the between that is I plus 1 should contain a different value. Okay. So, so that's how that's how it, it would make a sandwich pattern. So, in other words, if I say it should actually follow a logical structure, something like that. Num at serial number I having the value x, x could be let's say uh, 3. Okay. Num at serial number i plus 1, which should not be x, it could be anything, not, but it should not be 3. That means it could be uh 8 9 or anything let's let's say i'm taking 9 okay now num at serial number i plus 1 which is nothing but the next index after this so i plus 2 so here the value should be again 3 because x is equals to 3 so in this case it's actually making a sandwich pattern 3 9 3 where the first value and the third value are same and the middle value which is the second value which it should be different okay so that's how it should make a sandwich pattern now let's take a look at the input table and the output table over here. So the input table that you have is this and this is your logic for following the sandwich pattern that we just discussed and let's see what would what would come in my output table over here. So if I see for the serial number 1, for serial number 1, 1, 2, 3, okay. So this is going to be my sandwich pattern, 4, 7, 4. The value of Serial number 1 is 4, the value of serial number 2 is 7, and for the value of the serial number 3 is again 4. That means it's making the sandwich pattern. Okay. Now let's see for the for the serial number 2. For the serial number 2, the value is 7 over here. For the serial number 3, the value is 4 over here. And for serial number 4, the value is 9. It is not making the sandwich sandwich pattern. Okay. Now for the for the serial number 3, for the serial number 3, if you see. For the serial number 3, 4, 9, 9. Again, not making the sandwich pattern. Now, for the serial number 4, for the serial number 4, 9, 9, 7. Not making the sandwich pattern. Again, now for the serial number 5, for the serial number 5, 9, 7, 9. Again, again, it's making the sandwich pattern. So, what, what, is, what are the sandwiches that we have actually found? 4, 7, 4 and 9, 7, 9. So, in this case, we just need to extract the number. So num would be 4 and 9. So these two numbers are following the sandwich pattern. Okay. Then the last one 7, 9, 4 again not making the sandwich. So th this is your output table. So your output table should look something like this having num 4 and 9 which are actually following the sandwich pattern. Okay. So you are clear. So I hope you are now clear with the input table and how the output table has been derived from the input table. Now, let's take a look at the step-by-step -step procedure to write the SQL query. So, basically, to write the SQL query, we are going to follow a series of steps. So, our first step would be to just compare the values of the first index to the second index and the third index and then just finding out whether the value of the first index is equal to the value of the third index and the value of the first index should not be equal to the value of the second index. So first step would be we just need to compare a row having the serial number as i that is the first index the values of this row the next row and the row after that. So we, we will just be comparing the values of these rows over here. Next our goal would be to check if the first and the third have the same value first and the third row having the same value and the middle row having the different value. So that's how that's what we will be checking over here. Now, after checking, our third step, our second step would be to use the self-joints to, to do this since we, we just need to compare 
so we will be making use of the self choice since we just need to compare three three consecutive rows in this case and since to do that i'll be joining the table to itself three times because i need to compare three rows over here okay so uh, i just need to compare based on the conditions that my uh, the value of my first row should be equal to the value of my third row and the value of my first row should not be equal to the value of my second row or the middle row okay so i'll in the in the last step which is my step 3 i'll be applying the filtering conditions using the val clause so yeah that's that's how you are just going to proceed with the step by step solution to write the sql query okay but before writing the SQL query, I have very important uh, thing to discuss with you guys. I get a lot of queries. Uh, you guys asking me that uh, what if I just want to learn SQL from scratch? What, what, uh, not just about SQL, if I just want to learn Python or C or any programming language or any tool or latest technology, be it data science or in any kind of domain, what could be the ideal platform that I can follow like, when I just want to start learning anything? So here I'm just going to share an honest suggestion with you guys. Guys, please do check out Educative. Educative has around, I'll just quickly help you uh, see what Educative offers is. It actually offers 700 plus hands-on courses. So all these courses are text-based courses, but they are absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, they, they cover Python, Java, JavaScript, C, React, Docker, R, web development and so on. It is almost 700 courses and whenever you when when you just purchase them they actually gives you access to uh, all the 700 plus and on courses uh, apart from that it, you will get uh, cloud labs you will get projects you'll get skill paths mock interviews assessments personalized parts and so on and yeah the best part is uh, for example if i just search for sql if i just search for sql you will see that you, it, it has 85 matching courses related to sql and yeah, here you can also see their difficulties level and the timing, 11 hour course, 7 hour course, 8 hour course. You can just check out them. You can learn from them. It has, apart from the courses, it also provides you the mock interviews, cloud labs where you can actually practice. Along with that, there are 26 matching projects. Okay. So yeah, it, it's like a worth checking out platform. It has almost everything starting from the courses to hands-on labs to interviews almost. It's like a one-stop platform where you can learn almost everything if you want to get interviewed, it, okay? And the best part that I would say is their pricing. Their pricing is like very affordable and, uh, you know, I would suggest go for the premium model. It provides uh, three, three ten plus real world projects, exposure to them. And yeah, also the, uh, there is one good news for you guys. If you just uh, purchase the subscription from my link, you'll get extra 10% off. So that's going to be very, very amazing for you guys. I will just attach the link in the description box. You can just uh, copy that link and yeah, purchase, purchase the uh, subscription if you want, if you want. Okay. So let's now just come back to writing the SQL query that I was, that we were discussing. Coming back to writing the SQL query, as you can see, I have my input table imported over here. So if I just run this uh, run this table, you can see that this is my respective input table. Now I'll be writing my final query. So to just write my final query, I will first of all do self join three times. So I'll just join from num. I'm just giving the alias as b. I'm doing a join again on num b. Okay, it is giving the alias B and I'll be joining it on a condition that A dot S N plus 1 should be equal to B dot S N. So uh, what I'm doing uh, here is I'm just, I'll just make a three row of sliding window so that it is easier for me to compare, compare the values of the first row, second row and the third row. Now again, I'll be joining it on on a condition that my a dot s n plus 2 now why s n plus 2 uh, because c is my final matching row and s n plus 2 is my uh, like uh, the third third row okay the third index so it should be equal to b is small it should be equal to c dot s n okay so now what it will, I since I just run this query, what you can see is, you can see that this is your three row sliding window. So this is for A, this is for B and this is for C. 
once again i'll let me help you explain so this is for a this is for b uh, sn and uh, num b and sn and num b this is for c and it is giving me the value so for one you can see the value was assigned as four for two the value was assigned as seven so it has for two for two seven three four so that's how it has actually uh, 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 given me the index for uh, for the serial number one the value is four for serial number two the value is seven for serial number three the value is four like that so it is easier for me to compare now i will just apply my where condition so my condition is that first of all i'll be applying the condition of the sandwich pattern that n of a of num b should be equal to c of num b okay so this is my sandwich pattern condition and the second condition was that for the middle row that a of num b should not be equal to b of num b so this is going to be my next condition now if i just run this query what i got is num b is 4 and 9 and i just want to retrieve the num b so i'll just write num b over here and from a dot num b so if i just write this i have got my expected output so i hope you're clear with the solution what I did is I have actually uh, did the self join three times to compare these rows, the compare the values of these rows. So I just did a three row of sliding windows uh, for. Uh, uh, so I have assigned A for the first occurrence, I assigned B for the middle row, and assigned C for the final matching row. And later on, at last, I have applied uh, applied the where condition that my value of my first row should be equal to the value of my last row along with the value of my first row should not be equal to the value of my second row okay so that's how uh, it's just going to give you the results so yeah i hope you you like the video thank you for watching if you found this tutorial helpful please don't forget to like uh, please please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more such sql problems uh, so yeah thank you see you soon